Look at that. Can just get my hand around the middle of it there. Look at the size of that. Wow, what a cracker again. They're absolutely smashing it at the moment. G'day everyone, Will Kitching here. Welcome back to today's video. Now what you just saw is only a snippet of the absolutely amazing session that you're about to watch. I won't talk too much, I want to get straight into the action for you guys because it's red hot. This is actually a session from last summer that I never had time to edit and post, but I thought it would be a good time to put it up now because we're coming into whiting season again. So basically our plan for this session was to head to the Gold Coast, collect some live yabbies as bait, and then try to catch some whiting after dark. Throughout the video I'll be popping up just like this to give you as many tips and techniques as I can so you can go do this yourself and also stay tuned right until the end because I give some bonus tips and they're really really handy ones. For now though, let's get straight into it. Well, we've finished tying up the lines and this is where you get to relax a bit. We're set up and we can just sit down and fish now and that's all we have to worry about. We're sitting pretty nice, it's, it's pretty calm but it's a little bit chilly with a bit of breeze. If the fish are on, we should catch some, so fingers crossed we have some bites when the sun starts to go down. So this is the rig we use, it's very simple. It's 8 pound mono, main line and leader. And all we have is a running sinker on the main line to a swivel. Then we have a length of leader down to our hook. So it's as simple as that. Now a handy little tip is to make that leader nice and long, around 80 to 90 centimetres. Um, because otherwise it can spook the whiting and you'll definitely get more bites and more fish with a longer leader. You want to use a sinker size to suit the current and the hooks that we use are Mustad Bloodworm Extra Long Shank Size 4s. So I'll put that on the screen for you so you can write it down. Alright ladies and gentlemen, well that's whiting number one. We've waited for it. It's um, well after the sun's gone down. We were expecting a bite much earlier, but there hasn't been much action. So that's hopefully the first of a few for tonight anyway. So not a very big one at all, but look, we'll take it. It has not been um, red hot so far. So hopefully we'll be back to you soon with some more. Funnily enough, the first part of the session was extremely slow. We weren't doing very well and we weren't very hopeful, let's be honest. After a while, Dad finally got his first fish of the night. He's not small. Uh, he's not that big. So there's that one Dad just got. Not too bad, but for up here, that's a smaller one. So we want them a bit bigger than that, hopefully. Let's forget the smaller fish and let's skip forward a bit later into the night. All right, guys, just a little update for you. It's 11.30 now, but we finally moved down to a little spot out of the wind we're sitting perfectly, so we've caught fish be here before. Fingers crossed, um, we can get a few now. Dad had a bite straight away, first cast, just then he lost the bait. So hopefully the fishing picks up. It's been a little bit slow all night, but uh, we've had some periods where we get a fair few bites fairly consistently. So we're hoping we can get a few of those now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that definitely is the best fish of the night. Look at that. Can just get my hand around the middle of it there. So, that was a fun fight. Even took some line. Now, that big fish was just the start of it because after that, we got another one. What a cracker. Look at that compared to my arm. And another one. Look at the size of that. Beautiful silver. And you guessed it, another one. As you're about to see when they start biting like this, things get crazy and before I could even deal with this fish, my rod started going off again. There's another absolute cracker that dad just got. It's starting to come on a bit and we're just starting to get some bigger ones. So fingers crossed, if we keep getting our baits out, we'll pull some more of these. We just sorted out the biggest tangle. It involved about three or four rods. So, we're well, finally back into it. Yeah, right one. We're coming on. Here we go. Oh, 
Just look at the size of that, everyone. Just peed all over me. Look at the size of that. That hook bend? Tiniest bit, yeah. Bent hooks, that's when you know you're having a good whiting session. Now something I'll mention is, if you're keeping fish for a feed, it's important to respect them, and what we do is we bleed them and get them straight on ice, and even with the little whiting, that improves the eating quality tremendously. As you're about to see though, I could not even spend 10 seconds to do that, to bleed a whiting, without my rod going off again. Yep. Yep, 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 that one, yep. Yeah. that one. <sighs> you got him? Yep. You got one? Yeah, okay, let me get the net. No, 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 no. That's a good fish. There you go, guys. That is two new fish from the next cast. They've really turned on. And I've got my baits out, I've got to be watching my rods. Yeah, it's a good fish. It's a stonker. That's the fish of the night. He's coming around now. There he is. So there's that big beauty Dad just got. Look at that. Absolute stonker. Took some runs. So at this stage, the whiting are absolutely biting their heads off. And every time we cast, the bait is hardly in the water before just getting absolutely smashed. And I'm just showing you the better quality fish like this one I've just got here. Hey, that one. On the right. Yep. Definitely. Look. Yep. I'm on. I got the D. No, I'm not. You know? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's a big one. Wow, what a cracker again. They've switched on, that's for sure. It's just been crazy. I haven't been able to talk to you guys much because it's been just so hectic. Get a bait in the water, one rod hooks up, get it off, get a bait back in. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. That's a stonker. We had to persevere and wait, but um, it was so worth it. This is so much fun. They go so hard and they just, they're absolutely smashing it at the moment. Dad's been unlucky, four casts in a row. He's put a bait out, or five even, and um, hasn't hooked up. And they've been, been smashing him. He just can't hook up for some reason. I was lucky enough on my side I did. But yeah, look at that. Literal elbow slapper, there you go. From my fingertips to my elbow. Wow, they're huge. This is why we put in all the effort, and the hard work, and the money, and the time to come and do this because when it pays off and when you have a good session between all the sessions where you don't really catch much at all it's such a good feeling when you finally succeed because some sessions you, you really um, you do struggle and it's tough so when you finally do get onto a, a good night when they're really firing it's so good all right so as you can see throughout this video so far it has been very dark obviously because we're night fishing um, but we have our whiting rods, we have the tips of them painted white, um, so at night we don't miss seeing any bites or anything like that. It's actually extremely hard with a black rod against the black water, so there's a handy tip for you. And the other thing is to have a decent light set up in the boat. Um, we just have a portable one that you plug into the cigarette lighter and it lights up the whole back deck, so that helps as well, that's a handy tip. Otherwise it'll just be too dark. Well there you go, Dad and I just had a double hook up. Dad cast, he, we're trying to have a, a biscuit because we're starving. Dad cast, sat down and got a biscuit out of the packet and I kid you not, he was getting a bite on the rod that he just cast. And then another one went off, good double hook up there. And uh, we're finally gonna have a biscuit, hopefully. Crackers. Well, we finally got a biscuit, but as soon as we finished, <laughs> We turned around and Dad is already getting another bite, so they are going off. 
It's great fun. Got it? Yeah. It's another beauty. Oh my goodness. They're fired up. Lefty. Go. Oh. Got, it. got it? Yeah. Well, it's, it's after 3.30 <laughs> in the morning. What the heck was that? Was that a bull shark? Could have been. I think, I think it was. Holy. No, I have got fish. Holy crap. It was big, whatever it was. Yeah, no, it was too big to be a ray. Because yeah, a ray no, goes like flap. Just, yeah, no, it wasn't a ray. Well, as long as it doesn't jump this way. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. It was a big fish. It was a, I think it was, that was a bull shark. shark. Yeah. You know how rays come down and go yeah, slap? No, ray, that was yeah, kaploosh. No. Now, that brings us to the end of the session, but not the end of the video just yet. I still have a couple of handy tips to help you go get some whiting yourself. How crazy was that session though? When they start biting, they just go off. That was great fun, and they're the sessions that we fish for all these years, and to do it with my dad was just awesome. I wish that I could somehow explain how crazy it really is to be there on a night like that when the whiting are going off. You literally cannot even sit down um, or cast a rod without it just getting smashed instantly. It's just insane. They get so aggressive. It's, it's really fun. Now, before I give you these last couple of tips, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, leave a like rating and comment on this video and share it with your mates if you think it could help them somehow. All right, so the final few tips. The first one, when you're anchored and fishing for whiting, we like to have a couple of rods out and it's just important that you send those out at different distances so you don't get tangles and it also helps you cover more ground as well. Now this next tip is just a little bit of common sense but can easily be forgotten when big whiting are at the forefront of your mind but it's when you're fishing at night, take warm clothes, take some snacks and some water because they can be long nights by the end and um, yeah also pack some lights and things like that because you're going to be fishing in the dark. Alright so another tip uh, when we're whiting fishing, we use alvies. We absolutely love them, but obviously they don't have a drag system. They can just backspin um, if a fish grabs it. So if you're using spin reels, whereas we lay ours down on the back of the boat, you may have to put yours in a rod holder uh, if you have the drag set, because otherwise it could just go flying straight over the back of the boat and you'll never see it again. All right, and my last piece of advice is to have a knife on board. This could be for safety reasons, but what we use it for is Firstly, bleeding our fish, and secondly, if a whiting swallows your hook right down and you intend to keep it, um, you might have to turn that whiting upside down and cut open its jaw and through its lip to, um, you know, get your fingers down in there and get your hook out. Uh, otherwise, you'll just be, you know, going through heaps of hooks, cutting them off and having to retie all the time. So, yeah, there's a handy one too. All right, guys, that wraps up the video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something from it. Um, that's what my videos are here for, entertainment and to try and teach you something. So hopefully it's done that. If it has, don't forget to subscribe and, you know, as I said, like, leave a comment, share with your mates, all of that sort of stuff. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments or go and like my new Facebook page. It's Will Kitchen Fishing. So if you search that on Facebook, it'll pop up and you can message me on there as well if you have any longer questions. Stay tuned for the next video. There's plenty more to come, plenty more species and good action and tips as well. So yeah, stay tuned. Make sure you have that notification bell on. And uh, until then, tight lines, guys.